this is the first time we are making a video on anything else except cricket but this topic truly deserves our attention and trust me the story is good so i was going through this article on the felicitation of our olympic athletes when i came across this line this is the first time ioa is offering cash incentive to olympic medalists so this means that in the 75 years of our independence between all those hockey goals at the start and the individual goal streak started by avinav bindra none of them none of them were given cash awards by the chief board governing them really well i went down the rabbit hole trying to figure out what exactly was going on which ultimately gave me the story the story of the top seater we journey of tops the program that got india the most successful olympic ever in indian history now the core idea for the program did not originate from the government the story begins at the end of the 2000 sydney olympics in which india had ended up with the dismal tally of one bronze medal geet shriram sethi India's professional billiard player who had himself won 5 Asian Games medals was invited to a dinner hosted for the Indian contingent and while talking to the olympic athletes seeing first hand the dejection that had set in he had an idea in all those conversations all the complaints that the athletes had could be boiled down to a single word money If you want to succeed at the top most levels of Olympics you need money you need a whole lot of money a staggering amount of money let's take abhinav bindra for example preparing for the 2004 olympics in that year itself bindra had to spend a total of 150 lakhs all of which had to come from his own pocket and mind you this wasn't a no name bindra this was a 22 year old Arjuna Award winner Khel Ratna winner who had won 6 gold in the 2001 Munich World Cup and a gold and silver in the 2002 Commonwealth Games and still he couldn't find a single sponsor now by god's grace his family was well off enough to support his dreams but what about the remaining millions who don't have that by today's standards you need to spend 50 crores on an athlete to even have a chance of a medal and at the time usa used to spend 22 rupees per day per athlete jamaica used to spend 19 paise per day per athlete and india 3 paise per day per athlete 3 paise so in short medals needed money and set he had the idea of giving just that more specifically he aimed to fund the top most talent in the country with the highest chance of securing medals for india Now there is an inherent problem in this idea. It doesn't help newcomers. It doesn't groom any new talent. But there was no way he was going to get a lot of funding. So why not focus on proven talent and at least help them achieve their dreams? So on returning to India, he talked to his friend Arjuna and Padma Shri Award winner Prakash Padukone, who wholeheartedly agreed with the idea. And together, both of them started Olympic Gold Quest. an ngo with the goal of funding top athletes for olympics now it did take a few years to take off but it was after 2008 after india's first individual gold which increased people's interest in the olympics that it truly got the funding it required to push candidates by the year 2010 they were supporting 18 of india's top prospects for the 2012 olympics and out of those 18 people four actually grabbed a medal and that's right four out of six medal winners from the 2012 indian contingent had actually come from ojq a private ngo with its limited private fundings had brought four medals for india the idea had proven itself and indian government took notice on september 2014 a new program was launched by the sports ministry of the newly elected bjp government it was called target olympic podium scheme or tops now it was based on the exact same principle of the ojq with just para olympics added to the mix but where ojq passed with flying colors tops 
in its first test in the 2016 Olympics failed and failed miserably for all the money that was proposed and guaranteed India managed a paltry two medals one silver and one bronze Prime Minister Narendra Modi publicly launched a task force to investigate this failure which brought forth the same old culprits of Indian bureaucracy multi level clearances a whole maze of paperwork and a whole lot of red tape this practically made sure that the money never reached the athletes on time there was even the case of india's ace shooter ranjan sodhi who rather than training had to run from government office to government office to get his allocated funds just weeks before the final olympic qualifier in response to this scathing report sweeping changes were made first of all it was taken away from the ministry of youth affairs and sports and entrusted to the sports authority of india where a special panel was created called mission olympic cell or moc it would directly oversee the selection finalization and dispensing of funds all under one roof in a sense cutting through much of the bureaucratic nonsense that was required earlier but as soon as it began to function the members of the panel had one clear message there are just too many people in this program the consensus was that the criteria to be included into the program was way too lenient which meant that the overall funds allocated to a single player was largely curtailed still to not rock the boat just before the upcoming commonwealth and asian games all the players were retained except team sports events like hockey the required sum to be spent on the entire team was just too much of a burden to the program and those teams were already funded by other schemes so they were cut out of the scheme and as you can imagine there was a wave of backlash from the media from the players even from their own government but the moc stuck to its guns and that bore fruit In the upcoming Asian Games, India managed to haul its best ever tally of 69 medals with 15 gold. The Asian Para Games had 72 medals with 15 golds and the Commonwealth Games had 66 medals with 26 gold. The program had promise. That was for sure. But the Olympics was going to be at a completely different level. So, changes had to be made. And first of all, it had to be done in the moc itself now being a panel with equal speaking rights the panel itself was getting bogged down in bickering and policy decisions especially after the hockey backlash nobody wanted to rattle the boat too much hence the entire panel was restructured now it would have one secretary who would preside over the 20 panel members following a strict voting guidelines Next to change was the selection criteria and here is where things get interesting because the idea wasn't to support everything but to support only those sports which can bring a medal so first each and every sport itself was reviewed they were judged on their performance in previous olympics world championships and other major competitions specific to that sport then the actual competition in that field was taken into account if the bar was too high the sport had to be dropped yep it is harsh but for the minimum funds that they had that was required finally the data of the actual athlete was taken along with interviews of their coaches here care was taken that each and every sport and their national federations were given clear detailed reason behind the selection and non selection of players and so it was that the original hundreds of athletes were brought down to 86 just 86 athletes and it was here that moc pulled off a master stroke they appointed relationship managers this managers would act as a point of contact between the player coaches and the panel anything that the player may require would be quickly conveyed through the manager to the panel and within days the need would be fulfilled but the same managers would also keep a close watch on the player's performance and if it dipped substantially the player could be taken down from the list 
it may sound like a threat but the panel acted on it no matter the person involved two time olympic medalist sushil kumar was taken off the list after his 2018 asian games debacle so was the 2012 olympic winner yogeshwar dutt for just not performing up to the mark in essence a loop was set up where funding would directly go to the player whose performance would be reviewed as a payback on the investment it was efficient it was quick and it was to the point and it showed in the 2020 olympics india had its best ever tally of 7 medals but what's more important than those medals is the simple fact that out of the 126 athletes that were participating in 18 different sports disciplines we made it to 31 quarter finals in 10 different disciplines that means one fourth of all indian athletes were within breathing distance of the medal and that is a momentous change and yes i know the method has issues you're not helping the grassroots level you're providing bare minimum assistance to your top talents and yes there is talk of increasing the coverage they have also launched top junior to address this issues but the way i see it this program is there to do just one thing to bring more eyeballs to athletics because frankly speaking it doesn't matter how much money government spends on it it's never going to be enough what it needs is support from private sponsors which will come only if there is an audience and the easiest way to pull interest of an audience is to start winning that's what the program is for and that's why this cricketing channel is making this video in the hopes that all of us can try out something new a new way of bringing glory to indian shows aap kisi bhi khel ke khiladi ho sakta hai us school mein wo khel nahi hoga lekin kya aap 10 minute 15 minute maidan mein us school ke bachchon ke sath koi bhi khel khelenge kya aap kalpana nahi kar sakte unke jeevan mein kitna bada prerak hoga चाहे वो कबड्डी खेल लीजिए खो खो खेल लीजिए अगर वॉलीबॉल चलता है वॉलीबॉल खेलिए दस मिनट उनके साथ खेलिए वो बच्चे जीवन भर सोचेंगे कि ओलंपिक में जो खेल करके आए थे उनके साथ मुझे खेलने का मौका मिला वो ही बड़ा मोटिवेशन होता है थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इट्स द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम गोइंग अवे फ्रॉम क्रिकेट टू टॉक अबाउट अदर स्पोर्ट्स सो डू गिव मी योर फीडबैक आई होप यू हैव अ गुड डे थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग